Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. Today we're going to be jumping in and we've enabled the hard mode game uh, game mode. Apparently this is pretty interesting. If we take a little look here, we've got um, unique encounters with ultra enemies, um, higher fire rate, gain more rads, but more rads to level up, loop effects uh, occur earlier on, more enemies and some things deal more damage and pickups fade faster. So all sorts of stuff going on with this. Probably going to be hell, uh, but I'm going to give it my best go, and I'm going to jump in as Atom. Of course, we're going to go with the Inversion Crown, and apparently we get to select a Mew on starting. So, considering I have a yo-yo weapon, I'm just going to go with this. And we also start with a few weapons and stuff as well. Cool. Okay, don't mind that. Oh, okay, so this is one of the loop effects that is occurring earlier on. I already am not a fan of that, and that was also a new Ultra enemy as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm not... Ooh, that's also a new Ultra enemy by the looks of it. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of new stuff going on. For for an alternate game mode, there is a lot of new stuff happening here. Excuse me? We got ourselves a plop shotgun. Um, Hypersomnia is definitely going to be good for taking things out before they start firing at us. Oh, dude. This seems like it's going to be really hard. There's a purple on a merped already. I can't be, dude. This is this is insane. This is absolute insanity. So, one thing, obviously, for one, no crown, thank you. Um, one thing is okay. First of all, let's have a look. Is there going to be a mutation that's going to be like a lot better for us, like? Just right off the bat. Uh, I could I could go with like a scarier face just so we deal more damage right off the bat. That could be a good idea. Um, lightning crossbow seems like a fun one. Shotgun rifle. I like the fact that you get a big chest right off the bat that's got some upgraded weapons in it. That's kind of nice. Um, one thing that's going to really peeve me off is, as I've made clear multiple times, I'm not a big fan of the purple in this game. I just think they're an unnecessary addition. Not just in the mod, I mean in the base game. I just don't really like them. Um, I think they're kind of a weird, um, like a weird way of making the game more difficult. Uh, and uh, I'm just not a fan. I'd rather just fight the regular enemies. And this introducing more purple? <laughs> no, no, no. Not for me, thank you. But I will give it a go. Was that enemy rage? Oh, I think this is like a rage totem, you know. The en like the enemies gain like more health and more damage when they're in its radius or something along those lines. The penetrator. Double bolt weapon. Wait, the penetrator isn't using bolt ammo? What the hell? Wait, what? Oh, no, this is using energy ammo. Whoa, okay. The penetrator does use bolt ammo, but this doesn't. The fuck just killed me then? I don't even know. Honestly, we're going to do that again. I think scary face off the bat is a good choice. Heavy crossbow seems like a good idea. Double pop gun seems good. Oh, no. The van? The van on floor one? Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, the hard mode is uh, hard mode's a lot of fun for people that are good at the game. Like, this is a really good idea to have. It's like, it's it's a true hard mode. Like, it's still still vanilla-esque. I mean, I mean, not vanilla as in it is modded, obviously, but you know what I mean. It's still like it is without the uh, hard mode on, but there's just some, there's just a few a, th a few things here and there to enhance the experience for those people that are looking for an extra challenge. And I like the fact that there's new enemies and stuff. That's really cool. Like, it seems kind of crazy to me that the developer went into the effort of putting new stuff in that isn't, at least I've never seen in the base game, in an alternate mode that I doubt many people have even played, but goddamn, more power to them. Okay. I don't even know what to go for here. Absorbing paws, maybe. Level up a bit quicker. Okay, I'm liking having the pop gun right now. I think shotgun shoulders would go very well on a run like this. 
It seems that there's one of those totems at every level. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to play this for like 25 minutes. This is rough, man. <laughs> Impact wrists could be good here. Don't really like any of these weapons. Can I just like do a hot restart and get some better weapons? <laughs> Lance. Definitely need a melee weapon. And flame shotgun. Yes, let's do this. Oh god. <laughs> this does not even remotely do enough damage. That totem definitely is giving them extra health. It's... This is batshit. There ain't no way I'm playing this again. <laughs> At least until I get a lot better at the game. And considering I've been doing this on YouTube for like two years now, probably ain't gonna happen anytime soon. This is too hard for me. Holy shit. It's fun. It's cool. But I ain't good enough for it. Um... I don't even know what to go for here. Extra fee, I guess. Go with the energy brain in case we get a weapon that works for it, I guess. At least, um... At least impact wrist is working the way I hoped it would. It's making a lot of these small maggot enemies on these earlier floors a lot easier, which is exactly what I wanted. They were getting in the way. I want shotgun shoulders next to the... Hey, 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 hey. Ask and you shall receive. Just basically anything to be able to, like, AoE kill things that aren't currently on screen. That aren't currently firing at me seems like a blessing. There's two of them already? Oh, man. So basically this is like starting on loop one, but with more enemies and less loot. Sorry, with less enemies and less loot. Don't actually know how I'm still alive. Little bit of a miracle. But we did it. I need to take more defensive mutations, that's clear, but... For right now, I'm just going to do what I'm doing. I don't know who this sniper is, but I need him gone. I don't know what that pulse that this thing does is. But it scares me. Also shotgun? Yes, please. Meh. That... That'll do for me. <laughs> that is... That's cool, but I I'm probably never gonna make it past, like, the sewers. Because the IDPD vans, what are they doing? <laughs> There's way too much going on there. One second. Okay, let's continue. This time, we're gonna disable the good old uh, hard mode, and we're gonna go in with favorable build, which is just... Simply only good weapon drops, which sounds like my sort of thing. So we're going to give that a go. And who are we playing as? I don't even remember. We're playing as Atom, weren't we? Yeah, we're playing as Atom. So let's carry on as Atom. And we're just going to, yeah, we're going to give this a go. Favorable weapon drops. I like being able to get better weapons. So I'm interested to see how it works. I'm guessing it's just going to upgrade the tier at which weapons start dropping at. So... Like, on the first floor, we might see level, like, 2 and 3 rather than one, 0 and 1 sort of thing. And it'll just kind of go from there. But I'm not entirely sure. I didn't see what weapon that was. Um, let's go with that to start with. Oh, dude. Okay. Um, I slightly underestimated this because that's, that's a tier 11 weapon. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that high already. Um, but eh, I'm not complaining too much. <laughs> Get one shot, boy. Get one shot. Yeah, don't mind too much going for that. With good old impact wrists here. I can use this for now, because this is not too bad. But yeah, <laughs> level 11 energy sword on floor 1. 
That's uh, that's definitely a good weapon, but this is a good uh, mode for us to try and find some weapons we've never seen before. Definitely a good mode for that. Chill out, little jellyfish boys, please. Laser yo-yo gun, yes, please. I liketh the laser weapons. Give me laser brain to go along with this and I will be truly happy. Oh, that's so cool. That is not what I thought was going to happen there. I very much like that. I thought it was just going to be like a fire a laser when it hits the enemy, not consistently fire lasers as it travels. That's unique and cool. This is why th this game mode I'm probably going to mix in every couple of episodes, like every four or five episodes, just to have a bit of a fun and showcase some weapons we maybe haven't seen before, or at least we see very rarely, because I'm not the sort of guy that's making it to loop two very often. Laser sword. Oh, dude, it fires lasers and it's a sword, I see. Um, there it is, baby. There it is. Okay, we are on one HP at the minute, so we do have to be a little wary of that. But don't worry, because this enemy right here... Oh, this enemy right here. Damn it, one of them's going to drop me health. Energy Scythe. Oh, man, there's some cool stuff here. There's the health I'm looking for. Is it me you're looking for? Right. This thing's awesome, and I love it. And nothing will ever beat it. Apart from, am I just getting energy weapons here? What's going on? Okay, no, that's a do that's a doom launcher. I see. The doom launcher. Yeah, boy. That is an explosive Gatling slugger. This is yeah. This is upgraded to the max. I don't know if this mode was just recently added, but I messaged the dev recently and said, Hey, is there a mode where I can get um, really high tier weapons more often so I can showcase them on YouTube? And all of a sudden one exists. It might have already existed for a long time, but I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm changing weapon a lot, so let's go with power craving here. Good, good. Double lightning on that bad boy. I like that. This is going to kill the boss very, very quickly if we can make it to him alive. But making it to him alive is a whole different story right now. Yeah, there you go. He died pretty quick. He died pretty quick. Oh, man. It's like with the re the rewirer where it just like spreads lasers everywhere. I for some reason those guns just speak to me. Oh, we've already got an explosive Gatling slugger. That's literally what I just got. Although it bouncing off walls and exploding in my face is not ideal. Okay, I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm truly enjoying this. I should be taking a crown that gives me more weapon drops. To be fair, there's our doom launcher again here. Go with Scary Affair, shall we? Okay, we're all out of ammo on that bad boy very, very swiftly. Lightning cannon. Yes, please. Wow. Dude, the energy swords are just coming in hot and fast. It's kind of crazy. Go with that. Holy... That's a lot of lightning. Thunder and lightning. Not very frightening. Actually very, very deadly to our opposition, which I like. Super plasma cannon. Is that... This is the OG one, right? This is the OG super plasma cannon that, like, everyone used to loop in vanilla. I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. It's so funny to think that in this mod, there's weapons that are higher tier than this. Gatling Slugger? That's some weak-ass shit game. I want to overkill the hell out of this guy. We got him. We got him. 
Away we go? Yes, away we go. Right. Energy Brain, again, definitely. And probably Mood Swing as well. Probably get down with some Mood Swing round about now. That was a waste. It does destroy walls though, so not that big of a waste. Gatling Slugger again? How is that high tier game? Be real with me. Tier 8? Nothing. What the hell do we want here? The Mood Swing, I think, was what I was going to go for. Okay. Oh my god. This thing's doing amazing as well. Bullet Sword. Eh. Not, not that interesting. Impact wrists, why not? Let's just destroy some walls. It seems like tier 8 is maybe the lowest tier we're going to get. Double bouncer laser pistol, that sounds rather good. Not as good as this though, the lightning cannon is uh, really proving itself worthy. Oh, really? I died to that? Okay. Apparently I saw a flail at one point. I, I honestly don't remember that, but I'll trust you, game. I'll trust you. See, now, after this, I've got a real hard decision to make. Do I play Diablo 4 and grind out some boss materials to go for a uber unique legendary item, which I've been trying to grind for, or do I play the new Hades 2 update. It's a real dilemma, because both, both I'm enjoying thoroughly. I wish I could do Hades uh, 2 on YouTube. I did do it for a little bit, but the views were just stanky. The views, like, even on, even on, um, Diablo, uh, Diablo, even on, uh, Hades 1, it just doesn't do well on YouTube. I think it's because it's an, like, it's a narrative game. It just, it's, people would rather play it than watch it sort of thing. Um, which is a bit of a shame, because it is a really fun game. Um, like, just, just for gameplay, if you exclude the story, it is still really good. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't do well on YouTube, unfortunately. But I, I can play it in my own time and have a lot of fun with it, so that's good at least. Oh, come on now, guy. We need a better weapon off the bat. Right, let's have a little look-see. What, what's going to give us more... No ammo, more weapon drops. Now, that's something... But no ammo drop sounds kind of horrendous. Um, so anything else is going to mean more weapon drops. I have an idea. Give me Crown of Inversion again. I have an idea for something that could be pretty fun. With uh, with this with this game mode enabled. By the way, just 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 let me know now if you're watching the developer. Um, will my game modes be saved when I exit and reboot the game, or will it reset to default? Because if not, if it doesn't reset to default, I am definitely going to forget. Also, I already cocked up my method. I was going to go down that way, and I can't now. Oh well, let's just keep going. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely going to end up leaving this game mode on and forgetting when I next record. Super nuke. Why not? Oh my god, it just fires four nukes. That's more super nuke heat than I expected. Energy scythe. What I'd love to see. A mutation that makes it so that weapons like this, that like melee weapons that uh, use ammo, become infinite ammo. <laughs> that would be truly beautiful, but probably very overpowered. I think this implicates we got a game mode on. Is that what that means? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. I went for this so we could get a bit of peace while we sweep up the streets. I didn't even see what this was. Is this a, is this a double minigun? Oh my god. It was a double minigun. 
I'm playing really bad so far. But anyways, back back to trying to do the thing I wanted to do. <laughs> Wait, what? We got a sleeper plasma cannon already? What the hell? I didn't actually mean to fire that there. That was my bad. I was trying to fire this and fire the wrong one. Doom rifle, let's go. Although, to be fair, the Doom Rifle uses a bit too much ammo, so maybe not. Bullet Sword it will be, then. Yeah, I'm not going to have you fire explosives at me at this hour. Get lost, loser. Lovely stuff. Um, I guess go with Rhino skin here. Wait, what? It didn't take me through to the right level. What's what's this bullshit? It cursed my weapons and didn't take me to the right level. Well, that seems unfair. This again ruined my plan, dude. Another super plasma cannon. This is unfair. I have been punked. Oh man, that weapon. You can see why that weapon used to carry so hard in vanilla. On loop. Although, like, I'm pretty sure in vanilla, like, to, to get past, like, loop 5, there was basically, like, two builds, and that was it. It was, like, that gun. Or um, the Ultra Shovel, and that was kind of it, right? I don't think there was really anything else you could use. I don't really know what's going on here. I'm going to levels that I'm confused about. By the way, this, this, this gun's, like, better than I gave it credit for initially. Oh, dude. I'm in a, I'm in a rough spot here. Yeah, I knew I was going to die there. Anyways, we'll leave it there for now, and we'll check out Favorable Build again soon. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.